Why, hello, YouTube. Greetings from the Lazy Dabber Reviewer. And X equal one. It's a cartoon carpool. And today was a good episode, and it's about time, because it's been quite a few since we've had a really good one. At least one that we both agree on. Yes. Yeah, because you like Nightbird, and I, I like changing gears, and there was like two episodes where like, Ugh. and there was episodes before that. Finally, this one. Let's get into it. So this episode was called Jazz's Jazz Fest of Jazzer Size, and uh, <laughs> or, it was all about jazz. All, yeah, well, Bumblebee was in there too, I guess. Uh, this is episode 10. This is Attack of the Autobots. Uh, what a great episode. In this one, Megatron dumps a... Well, he starts a, a fight, and that was a distraction, because they go invisible and go inside and put personality things that turns the Autobots evil. Bumblebee and Jazz come back from being out and find everyone's gone evil, and so it's their job to make everyone good again. Very short, very simple, very great, great episode. Ah, ah, so great. We got to see everybody. Yeah, we did. Except for the new G1 characters. Yeah, season two characters are in this again. It's whatever. I'm okay with that so far. I, I know in, in the second half of season two, they're heavily prominent in that one. So let's, we'll, we'll get there. But Roller. Roller was in this, and uh, Prime's trailer again, and it started firing, and I, I don't think we've seen actually Prime's trailer open up yet. Nope. That was the first time we've seen it in, in the in the series, and that was cool. I think this is the last time we see Roller, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, he wasn't really featured much. I mean, what, what can he do? He's a little... Whatever. He can so, run people over. <laughs> apparently he can do that. Well, he tried to. He tried to. Um, best character for you? Yeah, okay, my, my best character as well. Jazz was amazing this episode. He, he starts off with the speakers, and then he's like throwing out one-liners, and then he's like attacking Blue Streak and throwing out things there, and then he's rounding up people and going there. He, there's like tons of jazz in this guy in this episode. And I didn't see Sideswipe at all. Yeah, or Sunstreaker. Or Sunstreaker. Or Ironhide. Yeah. Yeah. Like Teletrend 1 says, all the Autobots are infected, but we only see like six of them. Hmm. I, I mean, guess those... Gears wasn't there. Yes. Huffer Braun was, was there. Huffer wasn't there. Braun was there. Braun Thank had a great goodness. line, and it was. I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I think it was Thundercracker took off. It's like, where are you going? You haven't finished your knuckle plated si or uh, yeah. nickel plated knuckle sandwich. Knuckle plated. <laughs> that was amazing. Knuckle plated. Dumbest character in this episode? Easily Bumblebee. Easily? Easily Bumblebee. Unless you got a better one. I'll let you explain that one if you got a better one. And then I'll explain mine. Okay, runner up, Teletron 1. What did Teletron 1 do that was dumb? <laughs> no, Prime, no, don't do it! So? Nah. I don't know, anyways, that's, that's why I had wrong with Bumblebee was the entire episode, he stands in front of Prime going, Prime won't hit me, I know he's good deep down. And he pulled a great splick. Yeah, this is the fourth time... I think in the series they've done this type of plot device where it's like the ones like, I believe in you, you're not evil, even though he's being mind controlled. It's not him, it's the mind control. What are you doing standing in front of them, you dolt? Yep. What was cool in the end is when like he split into the three components and they got roller and, and the trailer. So it's like he's thirty percent is he's conflicted, right? I liked that. I really liked how they did that. And then the moment he goes up and... His eyes are flashing blue and red. Yeah, they pop him on again. And like, Jazz's cool powers of his sweet rave party beam against Blue Streak. <laughs> so anyways, after they get all the Autobots good, Megatron takes the solar thing, because that was the whole point anyway, to outer space. And then Jazz jumps on Jetfire and goes to the nose, transforms into car mode, pulls out his massive, massive speakers again. Makes a sonic boom out of music with the speed of jet fire and the sound power of his vehicle and good grief, that was amazing. And then, and then it was kind of funny seeing uh, they dismantled the solar power in, in order to put it into orbit. He just chucks it. <laughs> he just chucks it like, yeah, that's orbit. That's good enough. That's 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 the orbit you wanted, right? There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, what a great episode. Which, like, yeah, I, I can't, I can't say anything more of it. It's like it was. A, I would recommend this again. This is a five out of five for me. For you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, easily. Like, I think this is my favorite episode ever out of the entire series. And if we find a better episode, we'll see. And those, you, you, can you think of a better episode off the top of your head from season one and two? Well, just personally, but. Okay, fair enough. 
I know you you won't rate it a five out of five. Which one's that? Have we hit, have you seen it yet? No. Okay. All right, we'll get to it. All right. Uh, in that case, I think we're gonna end it off there. Uh, the question today, Firehawk Games asked us yesterday, if not yesterday, the day before, if we could pick a character to kill off before the movie, what would it be? Before the movie? Before the movie, if you could pick any character to kill off. So this is pre-character, pre-season three. Hmm. I'd kill Hoffer. Just straight off the bat, Hoffer's dead. So do we each get to pick one? Yes, so we there'll do. Be two. Dead? Yeah, sure. Okay. You're gonna well, pick Gears, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hoffer and Gears are apparently. I liked Gears <laughs> <laughs> for one episode. For one episode. <laughs> He learned too much from Huffer. Uh, yep. Apparently he did. But he has more class in explaining it. That's true. It's not like, meh, meh, meh. I'm just a grump. That's just my personality, Chip. And you're a jerk. That wreaks havoc on my joints. And I haven't done any maintenance on myself in a while. My name's Grump. Well, oh, Grump. Oh, no. <laughs> gears oh, change gears. I need Huffer and Grump now, or uh, Huffer and Gears now, and I'll do the, like, Game Grumps parody with them. That would be amazing. <laughs> but why? Why would they blah blah? Because I don't know. And where are the mini bots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you have you have, have us like bursting out laughing just like the Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, that's. Gonna... I made a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna be us for today. Yeah, we gotta go back to work. So uh, thanks for tuning in. See you guys.